going on guys thank you so much for coming back to another video on my uh channel the amazing warrior 23 i was i had paused a little bit because you know i forgot that i had posted uh like i need help with the psvr too and a confirmation all that type of stuff so i kind of forgot that i posted it because i was you know i was going to add this to that video or whatever but since it was already posted and stuff I figured, you know, just post this instead or whatever. Um, just an update on how everything is going with the pre-ordering and the household limit. Um, so, as you guys can see, um, I got a message from PlayStation Support. They uh, was telling me, you know, like, hi, I didn't want to follow up with you. I am still currently working on getting the household limit removed. However, once it is lifted, you will be able to place the order. I am trying to get it removed as fast as possible so you can reorder before the launch date. I will follow up with you again once I have an update. Um, thank you for your patience while I work on your case. Um, so I'm just happy that they got back to me about it, you know, um, about the whole situation and stuff. There's still plenty of time. What's the what's the date? It's February 6th and the, the release date is not on... February 22nd it's not until February 22nd so they have like plenty plenty of time to be able to remove the household limit to where you know I'll be able to uh you know order it again pre-order it again um but the thing about that I'm probably just gonna get the standalone version VR2 instead of the bundle um Maybe when I get paid or something like that, because, like, I don't want to, like, wait or whatever. Um, not wait, but, like, I might end up getting a standalone one. I might get the bundle one. I don't know. But as long as I get the PSVR too, that should really matter, you know. And then when it does come and stuff, I can uh, buy the game, you know, buy a VR game or something. But, you know, I might end up getting the, the standalone one, you know. Um, so this is just an update on... Um, what's happening and you know um did anything change any any progress um so this is the progress right here for now i gotta gotta continue waiting until they get back to me about you know the household limit being uh uplifted or lifted up um and so yeah but um i'll keep you guys updated um hopefully in the next video is where you know i, I was able to pre-order it again and yeah so let's just Keep our fingers crossed that it will be the next video because I really want to get it um, before the release date and stuff. Um, like I said, you know, with them getting back in contact with me about this, it gives me a little hope that don't don't lose that hope because um, they actually are working on, you know, uh, with the household limit. It, it's kind of ridiculous. Like if you're canceled, if it's canceled. And it was finalized, you know, you're not going to get it anyways. I don't know why they made it like that. It never says in the terms and conditions that once you cancel a pre-order um, item from their store, you know, then it's going to be considered you already bought it already and stuff. And now you're not able to pre-order it again or get another one or something like that. But it's never, it never says anything in the terms and conditions that, that once that's happened, you know, you won't be able to reorder it again. So, I don't know why I have to go through this hassle. But, this is a little hope. So, I'm going to keep you guys updated. Don't worry. You know, I'm still going to get it. I'm still keeping my hope alive. You know, like, if God wants me to get it. If he wants me to, you know, pre-order it again and stuff. He'll make it away. When it's a will, it's a way. But, uh, yeah, that was pretty much it, you guys. Uh, looking forward to posting um, me being able to finally order it. And not cancel it again because I'm not going to be doing that. But, yeah, have a great rest of your day, guys.